each joint. You only want to stretch them and flex them as far as what's comfortable for your pet. So if they're reactive, you just might want to reduce the strength of your flexion or your stretch. So we start at his toes and I'll stretch the toes as if he's standing on them. So we flex and hold for about five seconds and then you want to flex them the opposite way. You're going to do about eight repetition, repetitions of this. And then after doing the toes, we move up here. So we flex. And then we'll stretch. And then we'll do his knee. So we flex. And then stretch his leg out that way. And then after the knee, we do his hip. So again, I brace the back with his hand. I'll hold his thigh and we flex his hip. And then we flex his hip out this way. So that's passive range of motion. That should loosen up his muscles a bit. After we do passive range of motion, we do bicycling. And bicycling is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to move his leg as if he's riding a bicycle. The important thing with bicycling is when you flex their limbs, you want them to be as compressed as they will allow, and then when you extend the limb, you want it to be extended as far as you can stretch comfortably. So compressed, and then extend the limb, and it's just a fluid motion. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so once you've done your repetitions of that, then you can flip him to his other side and do the exercises on his other side.